Hey guys, I am going to show you how to do a oil change yourself in your own garage. Um, nothing really hard about it. I had a guy, Sam, ask a question. This has been really cool. A lot of guys, a lot of interest in um, ideas for videos. I thought, you know what, since Sam asked for this, let's start from the beginning. Sam bought his Porsche, it's his first car, and he's like, you know, I like my car and it'd be cool to know my car a little bit. So I said, well, let me show you how to do an oil change. I think that's the first part of it. So uh, let's go. We're going to be working on a 7911. I'm not going to drain the oil and go through all that because I, I don't want this very long. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so um, 911, uh, 70. So your lid... This lid doesn't have shocks in it yet. Or actually, it does have a shock there, but of course it's dead, which is in most cases what happens on these things. So make yourself a prop rod. I made this one probably 22 years ago. It's simple. It looks like a big uh, math stick. Let me put that up. Okay, that's all it is. And even if it's your lid is... Staying up, it's a good idea to just make one of these so it doesn't hit you in the back of the head. Normally there's a catch here, right there, and that's got a little sharp point on it and uh, they're notorious for kind of coming back, hitting you. So <clears throat> we'll start here. Here's the uh, oil filter location, oil filler. Inside the cap is the dipstick, okay? That is how we're gonna check the oil. I always check it on the dipstick there is a gauge in the car, which I'll show you right now. The gauge in the car works only at idle. So this gauge here, right now it's the car's off, so it's obviously it's off. But when you start the car, it'll it'll come up. It should come up to I, I like to stay about the six there, and that's at idle. When you're driving the car, that is not going to read correctly at all because the oil is in circulation. So let me go by here, <clears throat> what you need, here's the tools. Um, use, you can use a set of channel locks to remove the, fuel, the oil filter. You can use vice grips, these are kind of cool, I like these. Um, and the 19 millimeter and the 10 millimeter. You, you could have either plug on your car. You could have this style, which is a 10 millimeter, and then you, or you could have this style which is 19 millimeter. So that, that's your plugs. These plugs will be on the oil tank and on the drain, on the, uh, drain plug on the pan. Uh, little note, there is magnets on them. When you remove them, you can look on the magnet and see if there's any, any you know, you might have a little fuzz on there, for a little metallic. Um, if the oil's changed, properly you, you won't have much and it'll it won't be so sludgy the oil tank will get a little more sludgier than the uh, than the pan and then these are the uh, aluminum crush washers that are for the these plugs so otherwise you, you put these on there and you can get these on eBay as long and also with the oil filter use a correct oil filter uh, from Porsche or Mali, this one here. Uh, those look really good when they're in the compartment. They look like you knew what you were doing when you changed your oil. Don't use STP, don't use anything else that it's not, it doesn't look right in there. Oil, um, you can start with 10 quarts. Buy 13 quarts, 10's probably what you're gonna take most of the time, but 13 then, if you need a little more, you got one to throw in the trunk in case you need that. So that's that's for the tools. Now let me show you the plugs. First off, you can you can just about do this oil change on the ground. Um, doesn't need to be this high in the air. Um, I have it on my lift just to to show you, but you can actually do it on the ground. And if you get a low a low pan like this, um, this works out pretty well. Only thing is, when you drain the engine case into there, it's gonna be pretty full. So the engine case and the oil tank will not fit in this pan. So you need something else to put that in. Okay, so for, for now, there's your oil pan and there's the plug. 
So this one is a 10 millimeter. So you remove that plug, drain the oil, the oil will come in the catch pan. It's, it's pretty simple. I, I don't need to show you that. Um, and then, so you drain that first, that'll go into the pan when it stops leaking, then you can re replace it with a new aluminum crush washer. And then you go over to the oil tank. There's your oil tank. So you pull that one out. Same as got a 10 on it also. Pull that out, drain that tank. This one here might have a little more sludge on the cat on the drain plug than the case. So um, I clean I clean the plugs out really well, clean the magnets out, and when you before you replace them. Okay. So now, so now you've drained all your oil. Everything is drained, right? What I do is I get a funnel and I put the oil that's in the pans. I put them after I'm done, I put them back in the cans and then you can re return them to the auto parts store. You bought them and they'll, they'll take them and they'll recycle it. So that's one thing. Don't go, don't put it in your, in a gopher hole in the backyard or dig a hole and do that. That's not cool. Okay. So then, so now the plugs are all installed underneath. So now what we're going to do is you're going to change the filter. You pull, take, take the pliers or the vice grips I said, and remove the filter. When I put the filter back on, uh, you put a, I'll put a little bit of grease around this seal first and then put it on and then hand tighten it. To hand tighten it, give it a good, you know, a nice, a nice turn. Um, that, that's, uh, that's all you need. You don't need to, to crank it and you're definitely not gonna use tools to put it back on. Okay, so here's your dipstick. Your dipstick is, as you can see, it's got a, it says max there. And it doesn't, okay, so from the bottom to where it says max, there's those two indentations as you can see there. I like to run it about just a little below halfway. It's usually about 10 quarts to fill this. So the way to do this is you put in about seven to eight quarts in the tank and then you, you obviously put your new filter in, start the car, you start the car, let it run. You don't need to let it get crazy warm or anything like that. Just start the car so the oil is in, in circulation. Okay, so once it's in circulation, um, you can come back and check the dipstick. It'll read low and you can add two more quarts and then see where it is on the dipstick. What you do not want to do is overfill it. We do, you do, don't want to overfill it. If you overfill it, it percolates in here, goes in here, goes in the filter, and this is really bad on a CIS motor because then oil's everywhere. So do not overfill it. Little, on that mark, a little, low, little lower than half is where I like to do it. And you can also watch this gauge as you're putting the oil in and it'll come up, it'll come up to maybe five and then you'll reach the six. And this is cold oil, okay? So you reach the six and, you, and, and you'll be pretty good. But do not, do not assume this is correct all the time, okay? Go by the dipstick, and if this corresponds to the dipstick, then you're, then you're good. If it doesn't, then you know how much the difference is. So that's, that's pretty much the oil change. Um, you can read about this in the book, but I think my video explains how to do it without, um, you know, spending a bunch of time on a video. And it's, it's pretty easy to do. Um, like I said, you, you, wear, you can wear gloves. You can wear gloves when you're doing the oil change. That, that's always good. But um, like I said, fill it back in the containers and then you can take it back to the auto store and they'll, they'll recycle it. And like I said, please don't use some weird oil filter. Use the right stuff. Get them on eBay. You can pay as little as $10 a filter. The crush washers are there also. Just go there and buy the cheapest one, but you can buy the one, the model that you, you want because you, you don't need to pay $30 for an oil filter. And then I can get into oil later on. What I show here is a GTX. I like this GTX 2050 for most of the cars, unless you're really running the car, then I go to a, Br a Brad Penn. And that oil is, is pretty amazing too. You can go Brad Penn, but if you're a cars and coffee guy, 
uh, weekend up and down a hill once in a while, not really super hard in a car, this oil works really well. If you're hard in your car, like some of my guys are, and I'm gonna go over a car that is really driven and driven well, that car we run Brad Penn 100%. So that that's just my my take on oil. I, like I said, I'll go into, I can go into it later. I just wanted to do a quick oil change and show you pretty much how to do it. You can stop the video and do it. I mean, you can ask me questions. It's, it's very simple. A, a weekend guy can do this. Um, you don't need to, you don't need to pay the amount of money that the shops are going to charge you to do this when you can do it yourself. And it's not difficult. The hardest part is probably pouring the oil into the containers with a funnel. That's probably the hardest part, but other than that, you're good. All right. I hope this helped. Um, like I said, leave me a comment if you want to get, there's really nowhere else to get in depth of it, but, um, you know, hit the like, subscribe us, and we're going to do some more. I think we're going to do valve adjustment next. So we're going to get a little more difficult stuff. This is the beginning. All right. Have a nice day. Bye.